all right students so now let's discuss something today do you know what is today's date today is sunday a brand new day right may 31st 2020 or we can say today is 18th of jester 2077 uh, my dear students what are we discussing nowadays we are discussing um, classification of organisms in grade 9 we have completed some phyla plant kingdom is over and we are discussing now animal kingdom in animal kingdom also some phyla are over could you remember what are they they are Porifera, Cilentrata, Platyalminthes, Nematyalminthes, and Anilida. We have come to it, right? So you have to pay attention to us that. And in today's class, now we are going to discuss something new. What is that? Let me show you over here. So it's being loaded. And class 9 PDF. So what is here? Good. Dear students, in today's class, we are discussing these things. Let me show you from the beginning. At first, we are discussing about Arthropoda. Arthropoda, that is sixth phylum. Then students, uh, uh, we will just give some examples of arthropods and their special or salient features and afterwards we will be discussing about uh, the classes of arthropoda oh my god arthropoda has got some classes what are they crustacea insecta myriapoda and arachnida four classes are there in arthropods we will be discussing their distinguishing characteristics maximum two not more than that and there are examples then students we are discussing about phylum mollusca which phylum mollusca and after phylum mollusca we will be discussing uh, its uh, salient features examples and finally we will be discussing about the last phylum of invertebrates that is echinodermata let's remember the different um, phyla of animal kidna uh, invertebrates porifera cilentrata platyalminthes nematyalminthes anilida arthropoda mollusca echinodermata so there is one phylum which has what has it got? Class. What is that? Arthropoda. Okay. Shall we begin now? At first, our first phylum is Arthropoda. You see here, I already marked Arthropoda. So, Arthropoda is made up of two Greek letters. What are they? Arthros and Podos. Arthros and Podos. Arthros means jointed. Jointed. Podos means foot. Here we have to keep in mind that those animals whose feet are jointed, containing that's many more joints, are kept under arthropoda. So we can say uh, the animals with jointed feet or animal with jointed appendages appendages are called or are kept in arthropoda dear students we are studying invertebrates and we have to keep in mind invertebrate is the group of animals with maximum number of animals it contains largest animals in it so it contains the animals that are found in air water and on land everywhere they are found so what are the examples of the animals that belong to arthropoda 
यू कैन से हाउस फ्लाई हनी बी सिल्क मथ कक्रच लाउस बटरफ्लाई एंड प्रन एव सीन प्रन या प्रन यू हेव सीन प्रन के के कर बट प्रन इज ऑल्सो देर देर इज वन एनिमल ओके सो दीज आर द एनिमल्स दैट बिलंग टू फाइलम आर थ्रू फोडा सो नाउ स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स डिस्कस देयर डिस्टिंग डिस्टिंग कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स सेलियन फीचर्स सेलियन फीचर्स ऑफ आर्थोपोर्स हाउ मेनी सेलियन फीचर्स आर गोइंग टू राइट वी आर गोइंग टू राइट मैक्सिमम फोर अंडरस्टूड मैक्सिमम फोर नंबर वन देयर बॉडी इज सेगमेंटेड कंटेन्स सेगमेंट्स एंड मेनली देयर बॉडी कंटेन्स थ्री पार्ट्स head thorax and abdomen their body can be divided into three parts what are they head thorax and abdomen second one their body is covered with exoskeleton do you know what is exoskeleton if outer body part is harder then it is called exoskeleton so they contain exoskeleton next one they are unisexual their body contains either male reproductive organ or female reproductive organ next important thing is they have compound eyes compound eyes means their eye contains many lenses many lenses once again remember the characteristics of arthropoda number 1 their body is segmented means contains three parts head thorax and abdomen their body is covered with hard substance called exoskeleton they are unisexual means they may contain either male organ or female reproductive organ only and they have compound eyes their eye contains many lenses understood or not if there is presence of only one lens it is called simple eye if there are many lenses it is called compound eye now students what are the examples of the animals that belong to arthropoda so crab crayfish grasshopper house fly centipede scorpion spider they can be kept in this phylum arthropoda i said arthropoda has got four classes what are they crustacea c r u s t a c e a crustacea insect or insecta myriapoda and arachnida arthropoda contains four classes they are crustacea insecta myriapoda and arachnida is that clear so why not to discuss now is class first class is class crustacea crustacea characteristics i have said you we are writing maximum two characteristics of this one crustacea their head and thorax is combined fused it is called cephalothorax i said arthropoda has got three segments head thorax and abdomen but in case of crustacea their head and thorax this part is joined together it is called cephalo cephalo thorax second part second uh, important characteristic is they respire through gills or general body surface they have good gills because they are found in water either they breathe through gills or through general body surface examples are prawn crab lobster crayfish etc examples students that is all about crustacea now let's discuss about insecta insecta i said arthropoda contains maximum number of animals in it but in arthropoda also insecta class contains many number in comparison to crustacea myriapoda and arachnida so 
what are the characteristics of insecta their body is divided into mainly three parts head thorax and abdomen you can see a butterfly here is head this middle part is abdomen this length long is sorry this is upper one is head this is thorax and this is abdomen longest one is abdomen and they have three pairs of legs three pairs of legs and either one pair of wings or two pairs of wings body is divided into head thorax and abdomen number second they have either six they have six legs and either two wings or four wings is that clear example grasshopper termite butterfly housefly bee mosquito silkworm these are the examples of the animals that belong to insecta okay what have you finished till now do you know arthropoda characteristics examples of arthropods classes of arthropod first crustacea over insecta over now students we are discussing about class myriapoda myriapoda oh my god look at here one animal milliped so myria means many myria means many pores means foot or leg look at this so many legs are there no so if the animal contains many legs that is kept in myriapoda so what are the ca characteristics here their body is divided into head and trunk i said their body must have head thorax and abdomen isn't it but these animals contain head and this thorax and abdomen is joined together that's why their body contains head and trunk one characteristic second one is they have many pairs of legs two characteristics is done isn't it many pairs of legs right so what which animals belong to myriapoda milcentipede and millipede centipede and millipede so here is one animal you can see the animal what is that millipede it has got many legs in its body now centipede centipede is another animal you have heard about corn sutlo what are, what is it called corn sutlo sometimes it may go inside our ears isn't it that is centipede it also has got many legs okay students three classes are over let's repeat once again what are they crustacea insecta myriapoda then what are we going to discuss yes arachnida next characters uh, class is arachnida arachnida what are the characteristics first characteristic look at here how many legs do they have they have eight legs means they contain four pairs of legs they have four pairs of legs and next thing is their body is divided into cephalothorax and abdomen head and thorax is joined together it's called cephalothorax and next important thing you can say they do not have compound eyes arachnida do not have compound eyes for students you can write next characteristic these animals are poisonous arachnids are poisonous spider is also poisonous scorpion is also poisonous but mite termite is not so much poisonous examples of arachnida are spider scorpion mite etc okay now students let's discuss next phylum what is that phylum mollusca mollusca so this is again interesting group of animals which contains very soft body soft soft body like 
snail soft body, slug soft body, isn't it? Pila soft body, cuttlefish slug soft body. So animals which contain soft body are kept under mollusca. And here is one word, malacology. What is malacology? Study of mollusca is called malacology. Study of mollusca is called malacology. Clear? So which animals belong to mollusca? Snail, octopus, dentalium, cuttlefish, slug, titan, unio, etc. Students, now, what to discuss? Their important characteristics. Their, their body is divided into head, visceral mass and foot. Body is divided into three parts. What are they? Head, visceral mass and foot. Next one is, okay, head, they have got head. Visceral mass is very soft part. Like you can see this one, this is visceral mass. Okay, in case of octopus, visceral mass. Okay, students, now what is the next one? Uh, their head has tentacles. Their head has tentacles. In previous chapter, uh, previous uh, phylum also we have discussed, right? In which phylum there are the animals with tentacles? Cylindrata, that's right. They also got tentacles, okay? Examples are snail, octopus, dentalium, cuttlefish, etc. Students, you may be thinking that why Sauri is not explaining all those characteristics. I'm not explaining all characteristics because we are writing salient feature, main features only, not all. Now, students, what to discuss? Phylum Echinodermata. Phylum Echinodermata. Okay, Echinodermata. How is it made up of? It is made up of two Greek words, Echinos and dharma. What is the meaning of echinos? Spiny, containing pointed structures. Skin, dharma means skin. If the animals contain spiny skin, pointed objects in their skin, then they are kept under echinodermata. Okay? Echinodermata. Now, students, these all animals are marine, means found in salty water. Here is one thing given, just to check it out here. What is that? This phylum is great interest because of its close relation to the phylum Chordata. This group is similar to or related to phylum Chordata to somehow, not in all aspects. So students, what are the characteristics of Echinodermata? Their body is covered with spiny skin made up of calcium carbonate. Spiny means pointed skin. skin. And their body may be like a star, long or globular or like a flower. They have no distinct head. They don't have distinct head. Simply remember, their body is covered with spiny skin. Number second, they don't have distinct head. These are the two characteristics of phylum echinodermata. Then, what are the examples of the animals that belong to phylum um, echinodermata? Starfish. Sea urchin, sea cucumber, sea lily. See, different examples are given. Or not? So, these are the phyla of invertebrates. Earlier we discussed Porifera, Cylentrata, 
platy element is and name of element is now what do you discuss arthropoda examples characteristics classes first class is crustacea characteristics examples insecta second class characteristics examples myriapoda characteristics examples arachnida characteristics examples and next phylum phylum mollusca soft bodied animals study is called malacology their characteristics examples phylum ichiodermata characteristics and examples so students study is very important understood so go through this video once again and write the main characteristics only phylum salient features two to three salient features and examples in that way you can do it okay students today this much so next day we'll be discussing how to classify the animals and then we'll be discussing about exercise study is very important practice practice and just practice utilize the time so i have seen some of the students are very sincere for their work they do the work on time but some they are not doing it is very bad practice everybody must do and submit to me thank you have a wonderful day